So Unity has released a new launcher called Unity Hub, and along with it some cool templates that you can use as a starting point for new projects. And they are actually really exciting. Unity Hub and the templates are currently in preview, you can try them out by using the link in the description. Now let's begin by having a look at Unity Hub. At first glance it looks pretty similar to the old one. You can view all your latest projects as well as open or create new ones. But there's actually a lot of new functionality packed into it as well. One of the most important things for me is that it's a standalone program, which means that it's not installed together with the editor. If you're like me and use Unity a lot, you probably have a folder that looks something like this, which isn't pretty. Luckily, the launcher can now be used as a central place to keep track of your Unity versions. It also makes it easy to find and download the latest releases, including beta versions, which is just really nice for people like me who want to try out new features. To open a project with a particular version, all you have to do is click the icon to the right and select the version you want. You can also now have two versions of Unity up and running at the same time. However, make sure not to open the same project twice, that will probably lead to errors. Now let's dive into the real meat of the changes, templates. Using templates, you can choose between different default configurations of Unity. We've had this for a while in terms of the 2D and 3D modes, which change a few things with lighting, camera and the scene view. And these templates still exist in much the same way as before. However, there are now four more templates to choose from. All of these templates will create a new project, which includes a readme with a short description, as well as the same basic example scene. You can use this to see how lighting, materials and post-processing can be set up. If you don't want the example content, you can delete the example assets object from the hierarchy and the folder from the project. This should give you an empty scene to start working in. Now, what is the difference between these templates and which one should you choose? Well, because all of the templates use the same example scene, we can easily compare the visual differences between them. Let's start with 3D with extras. This template is a great starting point for new users or people who want to start with the basic proven to work settings. The template uses the built-in render pipeline, it has a linear color space, it tweaks the lighting a bit and adds some simple post-processing effects. So actually, it pretty much does the same thing as shown in our how to get good graphics video. I imagine I'll be using this a lot. Now the lightweight render pipeline template is all about performance and therefore it has the lowest graphical fidelity. This template targets lower end hardware, so it's great for mobile or people who are making games with limited lighting needs. Of course this template uses the scriptable rendering pipeline. Because of this you can always go to project settings, then graphics to further customize your graphic settings. The template comes with three example quality levels. Moving on to the lightweight virtual reality render pipeline template. Whew. This template is very similar to the normal lightweight one, except it's even more optimized and geared specifically towards VR. It also comes with an XR rig, so you can start moving around right away. Finally, the high definition render pipeline template is where you will get the highest amount of graphical fidelity. This template is intended for high-end hardware only and offers the full rendering capability Unity has to offer with SRP. This is meant for developers who want to create photorealistic games and take advantage of the latest and greatest rendering features. Now what this means in praxis is for another video, but this template does come with stuff like a new light editor, new materials including options for subsurface scattering, real-time area lights and honestly much more. So that is the difference between them. Now all the templates also come with a camera script that allows you to fly around the scene while in play mode, as well as a number of presets that might make your life easier. For example when importing a texture. Other than that we can expect to see more features added to Unity Hub in the future. This mainly includes an activity feed as well as some stuff aimed at making it easier for newcomers. And maybe more importantly we can expect to see more templates being added. In fact Unity is currently working towards allowing users to create and share their own templates, which is definitely exciting. So again, if you want to get your hands on Unity Hub and the new templates, simply use the link in the description. I also just want to give a quick shout out to our awesome Discord server. If you haven't checked it out already, there's a link for it in the description. Definitely check it out, it's a great place to chat with other developers. On that, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks to all of the awesome Patreon supporters who donated in April and a special thanks to Diego Geik, Befio, Infinity PBR, Alexander Blair, Cyborg Mummy, Derek Heemskirk, Clinton Van Skewer, Del Pernet, Tommy Huang, Faisal Marify, Daniel Sullivan, Cheetah 3D, Feng Su Long, Pierre Anglade, G Schneider, Daniel Link, JD Lay, Superman the Great, John Burgard, Dennis Sullivan, Jason Latito, Alex Rakitsky, Bruins Cat, Matthew Knight, James P, Gregory Pierce, J 
James Rogers, Naoki Iwasaki, Robert Bund, Larry Tweed, Tim of Holderbach, Judaman, Rob Fern, Adrian Hesnier, and Erasmus. You guys rock.